Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market preparation video for November 2nd, 2020. So we had obviously a pretty ugly, ugly week last week. At the end of the day, catching a little bit of a bounce on Friday, which was nice to see, holding on to some key support levels. And this morning, we are looking at the bulls fighting back substantially, looking for a little bit of a relief rally. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So here we are on our first trading day in November and the bulls are trying to fight back despite the uncertainty of the pending election, uh, COVID cases rising and England um, going into a non-essential business shutdown. Um, we are trying to fight back here this morning. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the technicals of, the, of this because this, I think, is rather significant. So first off, let's notice that um, on Friday was a pretty ugly day overall. Breaking down, notice that we broke down below this price support of September here in the chart on the diamonds and pushed on lower. And that push on lower actually at at one point in time, whoops, let's go to a daily chart. One point in time had broken down through the 200 day and the 500 day moving average here on the, on the Dow. However, by the end of the day, we had a couple of double dips in there um, during the day on intraday whips. But at the end of the day, those bulls stepped up, pushing this back up. So we're, we're looking right like this morning, by the way, this candle here is this morning's price action. We're looking this morning for a substantial gap up that gives us a little bit of a bullish pattern here and that hope of a nice little relief rally, which is overdue or was overdue. Just, just the uncertainty around this election has a lot of emotion in the market. So let's take a look. Where could this possibly go? Well, Keep in mind over the weekend, there were probably a lot of traders that held short positions in the over the weekend. So there is that possibility of a bit of a short squeeze this morning if um, those short traders feel the pressure to close out those trades to protect some capital. Let's keep in mind that we have significant levels of price resistance above. So although we are bouncing up substantially this morning, we have to also remember that news-driven events over the next couple of days could be really substantial. And um, if you guys remember the 2017 election, the massive swing of emotion in the market that occurred there, we're going to be have to be really, really careful about uh, chasing into these emotional swings. So watch that carefully. And I would not rule out the possibility of really ugly whipsaws and possibilities of full reversals that could occur in the price action. So just be on your toes and be prepared for substantial volatility over the next several days. And the reason I say several several days is we'll, we'll go into that election tomorrow, but I think it's fairly clear that we may not know who the president's going to be for a day or two. And then there's their, the possibility that um, the election could be contested. So um, lots of uncertainty still out there to deal with in the market, let alone um, rising COVID numbers. So let's take a look at this. If we can rally, if we can break through this area right here, we have that possibility that we could lift up a substantial day could be possible for us, lift up maybe filling that gap that we experienced um, last week. Keep in mind that that doesn't change anything though. Um, we will still be in a downtrend in the diamonds chart and a longer term downtrend here. So all this substantial um, resistance will be interesting to watch and we could rally back up, but again, don't rule out some pretty hefty swings over the next few days. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also rallying back up, showing some bullishness here this morning. What's uh, key about this chart is that we held on to that September low. Notice we tested it a couple times on Friday, but we held on to that September low. 
showing uh, more strength than the Dow, which is nice. And let's keep in mind, we've got this considerable resistance above, and by the way, it extends over here. We have that considerable resistance above that we're gonna have to deal with, a possible gap that could be filled should we get enough energy, a big enough short squeeze fired off here today. But we also have to realize that we will just be rallying right back into the downtrend here of the chart. Let's take a look at our moving averages here. Notice that our 50-day moving average um, in this chart is starting to flatten out in that possibility. It could roll over. So we just have to remember that as we rally back into the resistance points with so much news ahead of us, we're going to want to be really careful about chasing this big move this morning. Watch that carefully. And then if we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ also bouncing back up. Now the good news here is it held up the strongest um, on Friday, actually holding on to positive prints into the close. And notice that we held substantially above this September low, which the other indexes had tested. And we are trying to hold right in here a little bit of price support. Also keep in mind here, our 50-day moving average is flattening out, rolling over. Our eight exponential moving average is crossed down. And even this morning's rally, we're trying to perk back up here just a little bit on the NASDAQ. Just keep in mind that we have a downtrend here still in play and that lower high still exists in the market. So watch carefully as we push back up to those resistance levels. And then IWM, IWM surprisingly has held up the strongest of the indexes, just barely breaking down below its 50-day moving average. Let's notice that it will be trying to test that 50-day moving average this morning as resistance at the open. We also have some considerable price action resistance in the chart. Let's notice right here, if I draw a line right across this area in here, we have a fairly substantial resistance level, but we also have that gap above. If we can get a good short squeeze going, we could potentially move up through there, fill that gap, and test this resistance in the chart. So watch that close if we can get going. Now, what's gonna we're gonna need to see some substantial um, um, help from financials and oil sector to really get this moving. So let's keep an eye on that. If they start perking up, that could be a good sign for the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Our VIX certainly spiked up here uh, as I have been talking about and worried that if we broke this downtrend um, in the chart, held a higher low here, that we could substantially surge here in our VIX. And notice that we have broken through a little bit of price um, support here in that chart. So the big gap up this morning, I'm guessing we're going to pull back substantially in the VIX. I don't know that to be true, but because um, VIX hasn't really acted normally. But let's keep in mind that even if we do pull back, we're still up here in these very high 30s um, in the VIX. And with so many things possible, um, uh, in this news driven market, we could certainly see that possibility of fear re-engaging and, and substantial whipsaws occurring in the market. So be really careful. I really think day traders will have the edge today in the market and over the next few days. And they'll have to be pretty adept day traders too to deal with the volatility of these potential price moves and reacting to news reports. Swing traders, uh, position traders, um, you're gonna have to gamble a little bit if you jump into this, hoping that we sustain any kind of a bounce back. And just remember the big swings that we had in the election of 2020, where we were moving, futures were moving 800 plus points back and forth um, as we um, figured out what was happening after the election um, in 2017. So watch that close. Could be a lot of whipping around. Let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, was our best indicator that a bounce was due, that we were oversold. And as you can see, we were hanging around down in here uh, very low on T2122. Now, one of the things I hate is when we see a market do this all or nothing thing. Um, 
it, it really doesn't make any sense why we're going to gap up 400 points this morning. But if we do, kind of keep in mind, we could easily stretch this from an oversold condition and quickly be at an overbought condition if we extend that out. And that means we could suffer some more big whipsaws in the market. So watch that closely and be careful chasing into this first thing this morning. Let's watch that price action closely, see if there are good opportunities in the market where we can pick up stocks and options um, where they're very near price supports and showing good strength there. Otherwise, it may be quite a gamble to jump into this ahead of the election. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar has a quite a few things on here that we're going to want to pay attention to uh, today and then throughout the week. So let's watch, uh, watch this closely. We have a PMI final manufacturing numbers that will be coming out. We have the ISM manufacturing, which is a can be a substantial market mover. Let's watch that close. And then construction spending here this morning. So we do have that possibility of some news driven events uh, throughout the day. Watch that close. We have um, several big moving events as we go through the course of the week. As you can see, followed up by the big number here on Friday, which is that employment situation. Number. So lots of lots of things that, besides the election that could move us around this week watch that closely on our earnings calendar we have a big week of earnings ahead of us today we have um a little bit fewer than we had um toward the end of last week about 70 companies reporting this morning and several notables but if you look at the economic calendar for the rest of the week we're going to ramp up by thursday we're going to have more than 330 reports on thursday so just keep in mind um, just a lot of uh, news driven events that could move the market substantially so let's take a look at a few of these stocks that uh, we might want to pay attention to here this morning that we'll be reporting. Take a look at um, a stock like CLX, CLX Clorox, um, reporting this morning. Looks like it is trying to show positiveness here this morning. A little bit of a morning star. This is still in a downtrend in the chart, but we are trying to hold on to some price support in here. So in COVID, in a COVID environment, you would think Clorox could do pretty well. Keep an eye on that. Clorox may pop back up here in that chart. Also, AMC. AMC will be reporting today. Now, can't expect expect much out of this. Um, there's a lot of worry and concern that a lot of these movie theater um, uh, places are, are, are headed toward bankruptcy in such a COVID environment. So I wouldn't expect a whole lot of price action in here that would be very bullish as that down current trend continues in AMC. Take a look at FANG. FANG will be reporting today, Diamondback Energy. Um, we need to start seeing some of these energies perk up. And um, as COVID numbers continue to rise, it really continues to weigh heavily on this industry. So watch that carefully. Um, make pop back up here today. It looks like it's trying to rise a little bit. And we're going to need some of those energies to get things moving, particularly in that IWM sector. Let's take a look at um, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder reporting today. Good, strong move going on here this morning. Looks like Estee Lauder has done a very nice job on its report. Keep an eye on that. It's been in a strong bullish trend here overall. And may be reaching out here for a breakout so watch that closely in the chart lumber liquidators is on the list today it looks like at least at this moment it's turning a little bit lower keep a close eye on that lumber liquid lumber liquidators has struggled with this resistance high in the chart but it continues to remain range bound um, overall so anything is possible here um, mdlz Mondelez will be reporting today. So far, it looks like it's trying to perk up here this morning. Let's keep a close eye on that. But let's keep in mind that it is in a substantial downtrend and has some substantial resistance above um, still to deal with. So watch that closely. Uh, PayPal. 
PayPal will re be reporting today, and I believe they report after the bell, so keep a close eye on that. Notice that we have been dealing with a bit of a double top high, a broken trend um, on that upside move, and then this downtrend in the chart. But anything is possible on a PayPal report, so watch that close. Um, SWKS is also on the list you'll want to keep an eye on. SWKS um, found a strong pullback here. We reacted to a resistance high, tried to break through was unable to hold it here, now pushing into this downtrend here on SWKS, and we've created some substantial layers of resistance um, in that chart. So let's watch that closely as it reports and see where it goes from here. Um, everyone, you might want to uh, jump back over to the blog. If you click the link right underneath um, the title of this video, it will bounce you back over to the blog so you can take a look at all the other companies that will be reporting that I've marked as potentially notable. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen this video uh, or seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. If you feel that this video was helpful to you in your preparation for the day, that is the goal to help everyone do a better job of preparation for their day trying not to get involved in the, the emotion of the market, but looking closely at the technicals of the chart, then click that subscribe, or, or excuse me, the uh, thumbs up uh, button on uh, YouTube and also leave a brief comment. And if you feel that um, the video was worthy enough to share, please do that. Share that on any of the social media platforms you that you have, you're very welcome to do that. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up, and there are a few out there of interest, um, I think, um, to keep a close eye on. Now, one that I'm gonna be really happy with this morning, because I am continuing to hold, and I had a very held very few trades into this weekend, but take a look at this NIO. I have a position in this trade where I picked up a fairly substantial position right here. I sold 30 strike calls against that so that I run the chance of being called away on that um, larger position. And then I added um, an equally large position here on this buy signal and sold these calls against it as it moved up. So I'm looking at a really positive day here today, um, feeling pretty good about that. I would be careful about chasing NIO at this point. I know um, when you see a stock like this, it's, oh, doggone it, I missed out, I wanna jump in. What I would do is probably wait for that next rest, like we did here. That next rest consolidation in here, maybe slide back into this trend. Uh, before you look for that next entry into NIO. But this has been a strong, strong bullish move for some time now. So watch that closely. Um, NIO looking very, very good. Let's take a look at Roku. Now, Roku slipped and fell um, on Friday, but I don't think it has really come off the rails just yet. And that's because we pushed back into this trend. We broke down from the pop out of the box pattern that I like to trade. I was hoping it would stay up in here, but that volatility of the market really drug everything down. And as you can see, um, this might have that opportunity to perk back up in here in the chart. Let's watch that carefully. It's gonna report um, this week. We'll wanna keep an eye on it about next Thursday. Um, as that reports it could perk back up off of that level. We might want to keep an eye on FCX. Now, this is another position that I held into the weekend. And I'm going to be, it looks like, rather happy that I did hold on to this. FCX, copper has a pretty good story here um, right now. So keep a close eye on that. FCX looking good. Might be an opportunity there for a trade. Other places in the market, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. 
in um, a lot of these places because of the crazy wild volatility that we've seen here recently. But let's take a look. Nike, Nike had a substantial pullback here in the chart, but we might wanna watch this if it can hold onto some support here in this chart and hang in. We do have this problem now of resistance above, so we really could just rally back up into that resistance and then find some selling. So you might wanna watch this. It could be both a long or a short potential trade setup in the chart. Um, watch that closely. Um, I also think it, with so much uncertainty in the market, we have to kind of keep an eye on um, gold and silver um, in the charts. And notice that we had um, this downtrend um, in this chart. And we're trying hard, we're trying desperately hard to hold on to that area as support. We also have this resistance in this chart. So watch that closely. If the fear really starts to creep up in the market, gold could start to surge back higher, but it's acting kind of funky right now. So be really careful with it. Just It's just something to keep an eye on in gold and silver. Watch those prices carefully. Um, other places that you might wanna look, take a look at BABA. BABA held up, has held up incredibly well here um, in all of this volatility. Notice that volatility of the market really hasn't impacted BABA. And watch this in here, could perk up and rally toward their earnings report. Um, watch that closely, uh, BABA holding up. Other places um, like JD, JD also holding up quite well. And I've been watching this closely for that possibility that we may break out of this downtrend. Been watching that in here for that possibility of moving up. Um, remember, it's gonna report 1120, so keep a close eye on that. Um, lots of charts like that all over the place, um, still potentially holding and setting up in these charts. LB is one of those where we've just kind of drifted along sideways here, holding up um, relatively well in this chart. And we're seeing that in some retail places trying to hang in there. So let's watch that if that can start to lift up out of here. Of course, it has the, an equal possibility that it could fail that support reporting on 11.18. So there's a few stocks for you to look at. There certainly are a lot more out there um, to pay attention to, but watch those closely. And we're just getting quite a little bit of whipsawing going on. When we first started this video, we were up 420 points on the futures. Now we're up 350 points on the Dow futures. So significant volatility continues to affect this market. We're gonna have to watch pretty closely. So with that, everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day, a great week in the market. Wish you great profits. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all great success today.